What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today we're going to talk about the EMS Zuda. The Zuda came close to becoming the mobile suit of choice for Xeon during the One Year War. However, a single glaring issue rendered this mobile suit too dangerous and too limited for combat. In this video, we'll be going over the history of this mobile suit and talk about its participation in the One Year War. Before the start of the One Year War, two companies were bidding against each other to produce Xeon's next generation mobile weapons. On one side, we had the Zimad company who was pushing for the EMS-04 Zuda. And on the other side, we had the Xeonic company who was pushing for the Zaku-1 early type. And as we all know, the Zaku model eventually won Xeon's military contract. The Zuda sports armaments similar to the Zaku. It has a larger cowboy rifle, a 120mm machine gun versus the Zaku's 105mm machine gun, a 280mm bazooka, a 135mm anti-ship rifle, heat hawk, a shield, and even spikes along the front part of the shield. Due to a larger caliber machine gun, the Zuda's 120mm machine gun was very effective against heavily armored units and held the same number of 100 rounds per drum as a 105mm gun. In addition, the 135mm anti-ship rifle was also very effective against Salamis-class ships. Underneath the shield, the Zuda also carried two Sturmfoss rocket launchers, which could be useful in close quarter combat. The Zuda even had unprecedented thrusters and acceleration speeds compared to the Zaku-1, and certainly compared to the vast majority of Federation mass-produced mobile suits at the time of the development. Despite being similar weaponry to its direct competitor, the biggest difference these two models was the engine. The Zuda's engine was known as the Jupiter engine, which placed severe limits on the mobile suit. If the engines were overexerted, the mobile suit would literally explode. It was this engine which caused the Zuda to be outbid by the Xeonic company. With having such a glaring imperfection, how does the Zuda perform in battle? Well, from what we've seen in the OVA Gundam Igloo, and in the manga, Hunter in Black Clothes, the Zuda certainly had potential to be a ferocious weapon. For example, in the manga, Hunter in Black Clothes, the Zuda was utilized by a Xeon Ace pilot named Lieutenant Commander Wolfgang. Nicknamed the Hunter of Black Clothes, he was forced to pilot a Zuda when Xeon was consolidating all available Zakus to a battle queue. With the Zuda, this Xeon Ace was able to destroy Federation ships, mobile suits, and even single-handedly take down a Federation Ace, the Ace Duck, who piloted a heavily modified RGM-79 Kai. And in OVA Gundam Igloo, the Zudas were utilized by Xeon's 603rd Technical Evaluation Unit as a Xeon propaganda campaign. The propaganda boasted that the Zuda was Xeon's new secret weapon, when in fact that they were just refitted prototypes from the 04 to the 10 models. The Federation eventually discovered the true nature of the Zuda and launched their own smear campaign. In this OVA, we see the Zudas engaging Federation cruisers, GMs, and RB-79 ball units in order to protect retreating Xeon forces from the Battle of Odessa. It is evident in this series that the Zuda does have combat worth as they manage to destroy attacking Federation units with precision and utilizing the advantages of high speeds. However, the Zuda did suffer casualties and even lost the pilot due to engine overload. Overall, the Zuda is a legacy weapon. This mobile suit saw combat throughout space and participated in the Battle of Battle Q. The Zuda were kept in service through the end of the war and were even utilized by Xeon Remnants as evident in the manga The Blazing Shadow. In The Blazing Shadow, Xeon Remnants utilized the EMS 10F Zuda which were developed later during the final stages of the One Year War, however, were not fully adopted by Xeon. The Saturn engine still had its defect, but was governed by a stronger limiter. The Zuda is a very interesting machine. I am a little confused too as why the Zimag company, the company who also produced the MS-09 Dom, and many other powerful weapons, could not simply replace the Zuda's engine. But that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. You can find the high grade EMS 10 Zuda online as well as other Bandai Zuda action figures. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you all for watching, 
and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.